Roseau is the home to many, many great hockey players. Neil Broughton, Brian Erickson, Aaron Ness, just to name a few. Open ice availability almost year-round gives young hockey players in Roseau a chance to develop their skills and learn the game. But another key to a piece to Roseau's success is the tradition of former Ram greats coming back in the summer and giving back to the program that helped build them up. There's never really a bad time for hockey in Roseau, even in the middle of July. Growing up as a Ram, every peewee and every squirt has someone to look up to. Isaac Wenslaw and Aaron Wenslaw. Jasmine Hubda. Probably Aaron Hughesman. Max, yeah. I really enjoy watching Gavin Gunderson. I don't live in Rosa. Well, almost everyone. Who's your favorite Rosa hockey player? Uh, Max Strand. That's more like it. Aaron Huglin and Max Strand are two of the most recent Ram greats to come out of Rozo. And growing up, they had their own heroes in green and white. When I was really little, I really looked up to Aaron Ness. He was pretty sweet on that 07 team. Then, you know, years went on. Zach Yon came through. Aaron Huglin, obviously, those were all guys that we, we all kind of looked up to, I feel like. Aaron Ness, uh, like growing up, looking up to him and how special that was when, when he would come out and pass with us or, or do stuff like this. So, like, I want to be that, that same type of, type of guy and just take time for the kids. Huglin just finished his freshman year at Minnesota. Huglin, one timer Getting all the way to the Frozen Four, Strand just graduated from Roseau, winning the state's Mr. Hockey Award this past year. But they aren't too big to return to their Roseau roots. It means a lot, you know, because, yeah, like I said, when I was a kid, I was always looking up to these guys who are running out here. And, you know, now I am that guy who's out there running out there with Aaron. And, you know, I just... I hope all of those kids look up to us the way that we did to them back in the day. The annual Rozo Summer Hockey Camp has always been led by former players, dating all the way back 40 years ago in the 1980s. Get back, get back. The main objective, have fun developing a love for the game. We spend a lot of time scrimmaging, and obviously like that's like a, a great thing for development, just spending time playing the game. If you're not having fun out there, you're probably you know, you're not going to want to work at it. You're not going to want to keep getting better. So you want to work hard and stuff, but, you know, have fun at the same time as you're doing it. Coming back home gives Huglin and Strand a chance to look back at home. Both are grateful for the ice opportunities they were provided and also grateful for the love of hockey they first developed, quite possibly on a hot summer day in a cold rink in mid-July. We just get dropped off and come play with our buddies. And so it's that's definitely what... Made me the player I am is just spending a lot of time on the ice. It, it was everything. I mean, coming out here, free ice whenever you want it, really, and skating with all your buddies, just get dropped off at the rink and skate for hours. Right out here is where, where it was all made. It'll be fun to see how both those two do in the next few years. Here are their stats from last season. Huglin with uh, Minnesota and uh, Strand with Rozo. Huglin will be back again with the Gophers. He was drafted by Buffalo Sabres in the fourth round in 2019. Strand will play one or two more years of juniors with the St. Cloud Norseman in the NAHL before playing his college hockey with uh, Catamounts at the University of Vermont. Also should note that Paul Huglin, uh, Aaron's younger brother, was also at that camp. And those two guys are really good at hockey, but they're, they're great guys, let me yeah. tell you. Great yeah, some real quality, quality individuals. And when well, you think about the number of quality hockey players yeah. that, that skated in that arena, it's, just, yeah. it's hard, to, hard to imagine. A lot of good ball players yeah. up in Rozo. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.